Logan City Lanes for the 1989 Goldpin Coca-Cola Classic. A round two encounter here of this tournament. This promises to be a great encounter between Dana Miller-Mackey, formerly of the United States, now of Epping in New South Wales, and Tony Pablo Kelly of Brisbane. And it's Miller-Mackey first. Oh, great start for Dana Miller-Mackey. This is a great start for her. Really, if there's anyone that's going to knock off this hole in Nova, it's going to be Dana. We'll see here. She's just such a good player. Foot perfect to the foul line. Gets the ball down. Looks at it. Come up. Come up. Great pin action. Takes the 10. This is Tony Kelly. He's an import agent from Stafford in Brisbane. Two times in the Queensland State team. Made it to the round of six in the high roller in Las Vegas. That's where the winner of this tournament will be going. And a shaky start for him. Yes, Chris. It wasn't a good start. Tom, what do you think with Tony here? Do you think he's going to sort of just get out there and play the game and try to just go for it? Yes, I think uh, Tony has to sort of settle down very quickly because he's not going to get uh, too much room from Dana, so uh, he's got to work on that part of it, definitely. Really, Dana's just going to go out there and jump all over him, don't you think? Well, you know, as much as I'm loath to sort of call her a pro, but she's a pro bowler and, uh, yeah, she'll be all over Tony the minute she gets the chance. And safely closes the frame, does Tony Kelly. And in the first round, he defeated Shelley Devine, 257 to 176. As we watch it again. Yes, Chris, picks the spare up well. He's happy with that. He, he's, you know, a close frame in the first frame is just about all you can do. If you're going to open a frame, it's the best frame to open. You can still punch out, shoot 290. He's still well and truly in the match. He's just got to, as Tom said, settle himself down and put the ball in the pocket because Dana is a, is a professional player but does it for a living, she will just kill it. Brings it round, yeah, that's good. He'll be happy with that. That's a good start again. That's a great start. What do you think here, Tom? That's just the start he wanted for his second shot. Yes, he would have been really happy with that, and uh, that's, what, that's what you need so early in the game. That'll, uh, that'll help his confidence no end. Great shot. Dana Miller-Mackey, formerly of Albuquerque in the US, a pro bowler, a host of tournament victories, she won the uh, gold pin Coca-Cola Classic Women's Division this year, last year. Up against the men this year, going for a double, and yes! And there it is, and of course, the perfect game. 312 strikes in a row. Dana needs another 10, and she'll take home a new Holden Nova SLE sedan. Compliments of Motorama Holden Springwood here in Brisbane. And let's have a look at this one again. This is just a great shot. You know, Dana just gets up there. She's got a, a dozen bowling balls here to choose from. She knows which one she's going to play with. She goes down. She practices with it. She can change a hand position. She changes the roll on the ball just to get it right, just to get it the right length. She is just a professional in every sense of the word. Nine times she's uh, scored the perfect 300. And there it is again. So that's a turkey three in a row for Dana Miller-Mackey. Tom, at this stage, Tony, uh, he's really got to sit down and realise that he has to get strikes. Oh, look, most definitely. Look at the area that, uh, that Dana has got. Uh, I watched the first two strikes, and she was able to come in from out wide and uh, still... Have a look at her style. It just looks so smooth. Chris, this is what we're saying with professionalism. She goes out, she practices every day. She's an aerobics instructor. She's fit. She's got everything going for her. Nasty split now for Kelly. In big, big trouble. He's in big trouble. He is really in big trouble. A game with this type of game, you've just got to settle yourself down. Here we see the ball goes straight through the nose. That's just the shot he didn't want. Lane, 11, lane 12 is hooking a little bit more. You'll see the action here. You'll see why he left the split. The ball's just peeled the pin straight apart, and he's got one left on either side. But this lane 12 today is probably going to give a bit of trouble, and lane 11 maybe give, uh, maybe give a lot less. Takes out two pins, giving him an open frame in the third. Crowd appreciating uh, the action here. We'll take a short break on nines wide. For $8.50, you get two game shoe hire hot dog fries and a Coke. For $8.50, you get two game shoe hire hot dog fries and a Coke. The winner of the 1989 Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic will receive a cheque for $4,000. Welcome back to Nine's Wide World of Sports and the coverage of this year's Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic. This is Tony Pablo Kelly. He's from Brisbane. And he is in heaps of diabolicals here. 
trailing Dana Milamaki by 12 pins. He's left an open frame in the third. Dana Milamaki has a perfect score sheet. Three strikes in a row. Oh, that'll give the young man a bit of confidence and maybe give him a roll on. I think it will. Lane 11, he's playing quite well. Tom, do you think he should have gone for that split on the third frame? Yes, definitely. It's, it's a one-game uh, one play, and uh, he's got nothing to lose. He has to go for it. And that was a great shot, which he loves. He's really looking uh, to go on with it here. But here comes Dana, still shooting for this perfect game, still looking for this hole. And she said before the tournament that she wanted the car, and she's going for it. Well, that's the end of that. Well, and I think we'll we keep, find out why. We keep putting the mocker on these poor people. <laughs> I think I can put the keys back in my pocket. Let's have a look at her footwork here, Terry. She, look, she's perfect. It's heel toe, heel toe. She just gets down there. Her foot is perfect to the foul line. Her weight is forward, right over her leg. She has good balance. She has. It's just great. And there it is. Closes up the frame. Spares it up. And she's looking the goods already at this stage. You'll see there when she goes for the spare, she breaks, puts her wrist back, breaks her wrist back so the ball doesn't jump at the back end, goes more direct, and she picks it up with ease. As we said earlier, nine times she's got the perfect score of 300. In the first round, a low-scoring game, 179 to 169 over Sam Romeo. And during the uh, tournament seating, she finished sixth with a high game of 267, an average of 214. So during round two, I think they'll need every one of those pins, the 214. Great reply after the spare. Yes, he's back in the pocket. And, you know, Chris, you're right. You're going to need every one of these. You're going to have big games. I think every game in this will be a winning 200, we hope. Here you see another perfect strike. Tom, she's just terrific. Yeah, it's really terrific. She's composed. She's got everything under control. And uh, as, you'd, as you'd expect a professional. The look on, I think the look on her face tells it all. She just looks up there very, very tradesman-like. Yes, a, a real pro. Kelly now. this young man from Brisbane. Tony's a great, great fighter. A great player. Loves the crowd. Really gets hyped up. Tom, you've probably bowled him a lot. Yes, uh, he, this is what you would expect from Tony. He's, uh, he's always determined and, and uh, a good match player. And look at that. He's back in the game again. And Ten in the pit. And of course, Tony's bowled in the, in the High Roller Classic in Las Vegas. Picked up 3,000 US for his five winning matches. And it, it's tough to win five matches in America in a row. It sure is. Let's see if he can... Uh... Make it three in a row and keep Dana Milamaki honest. Yes. Looking good. Oh, yes. Well bowled and a pumped up Tony Kelly and Pablo certainly on a roll. He certainly is. Tom, this shot here, just exactly what he wanted. Wants to rip the five. Everyone loves to do it. Really pumps them up. Yes, look the... Uh, he hasn't missed a strike here on lane 11, and uh, going in for the third strike there, he knew he had a big chance, and look at this. He's also had a very, very good start. Very beautiful. Look at that. Great shot. And let's see if Dana can get up here and come back. Get back up there, get this double, get back on a roll again. There it is. T2 has the double, so they're going strike for strike. One thing you'll notice here with Dana is that most of her strikes are solid in the pocket. It's just 10 in the pit, no chances, doesn't want to switch the pins around. It's just bang, 10. You'll see here the ball goes perfect straight through the pins. So six frames down in the second round match between Dana Milamaki and Tony Kelly. And it's Milamaki in front by 20 pin. You'll have noticed our competitors are wearing sporting shoes. These shoes have leather soles enabling the bowls to slide and not stick while delivering the bowling ball. Welcome back to Logan City Lanes for the 1989 Goldpin Coca-Cola Classic, an enthralling second round match between Dana Milamaki and Tony Kelly. And at the moment, Milamaki has 20 pin lead, but Kelly isn't giving in without a fight, so plenty of work going on here from Milamaki. It really is, because when you get on this rhythm, if you can throw one loose shot and you, you can leave anything, then it just stops everything. Oh, oh there it is, nothing loose there. That's three strikes in a row, a turkey for Milamaki. That's exactly what I was talking about. Here you'll see, again, 
perfect strike, 10 in the pit. She's really determined. You can see that. She gets right through the ball. She knows that that's the key to making good shots here today, is to get right through the ball, keep the fingers on it, good leverage, and she just goes about it. You'll see here the ball rolls out. She gets the proper roll she's looking for, accelerates into the pins, 10 in the pit. Thank you. But here's Tony. He can come back here. He's got three in a row already, looking for his fourth. If he gets this, he will be pumped up. No, uh, he didn't like it. No, he didn't like that shot at all. Tom, anything at this lane 12 is starting to bother him? Yes, and it was so crucial too because uh, he, he knows he can strike on 11 and had he struck there on 12, he would have been in with a great show. So uh, he'd be disappointed there. He really didn't get the ball out far enough, did he? No, it's been really jumping lane 12 and uh, he just didn't make that slight adjustment. The important thing now for him is to pick up this spare and stay in the game. You can see there he's dropped his wrist back. Safely takes out the spare. So, hanging in by the skin of his teeth is Tony Kelly. As a look down lane 11. That's been one of his favourite lanes as we check the shot in lane 12. This is very well done here. He's using a, a ball that's hooking a lot. He's backed his wrist off for the spare shot. A, a tricky spare. You'll see here you've got the three pin with the nine pin behind. As you can see there, you can only see one pin, but there's actually two there. Goes along, picks him up. This is a great shot. Now he wants to get back to lane 11. Get back on a roll. He needs to strike here. He has to strike now in every shot because Dan Dana just looks like she's not going to miss. Yeah, right in the pocket. Good bowling here from Tony Kelly. Again, Tom, he's struck every time on lane 11. Lane 12's been the bugbear. Do you think he may have looked at, may have, didn't, look, didn't, didn't look at it as much in practice? Yes, uh, you know, it just goes to show how critical that uh, that seventh frame was for him. He really needed to strike in the twelfth. But, uh, you know, he's got a strike there and there's a few frames left. Anything can still happen. We saw in qualifying, Miller Mackey lost it a bit in the last couple of frames. Let's see what she can do here. Oh, very lucky, I think, that time. She was very lucky. She wouldn't have liked that shot at all. This is exactly what I was saying. If you drop the shot, as you'll see here, she'll drop it. If it goes through the net, she could have left anything from five to, to eight, had a big split and been out of the match. But she'll take the ten just the same. Of course, of course. Tom, we all take those, don't we? Oh, yeah, and the smile on her face told it all, didn't it? We hate it when we have it done to us, but uh, when it happens to us, it's a wonderful. <laughs> but, OK. Dana here can punch out for 278, which would be a high game. Oh, yes. She's looking the good, and she definitely is throwing down the gauntlet to the men in this tournament. You know, before the tournament, I really would have predicted her to win. She is just a tough player. You know, earlier on, in later 89, when she played Carol Giannotti for the South Pacific, that was just such a great match. They're both on the Pro Tour. Carol winning the, the Queen's tournament in 89. Dana recently coming off a second placing, where she actually lost with the 267 game. Not bad at all. Let's see what Kelly can do. Oh, yes. I've got to give it to this young man. He hasn't stopped trying. Tom, what do you think? Got that one out a bit more, realised it? Yes, excellent. And I suppose, you know, the pressure's off a little bit now, and uh, he was able to relax and make the correct adjustment for lane 12. And uh, this again, I go back to lane uh, to the seventh frame. That's the one he wanted. Foundation frame over. And Dana Miller-Mackey leads by 42 pins. The bonus prize of this year's Coca-Cola Classic for the bowler of a perfect 300 game is a Holden Nova SLE valued at $20,000 from Motorama Holden Springwood in Queensland. <laughs> Welcome back here to the Logan City Lanes. And there's our two bowlers. Tony Kelly gets up off the chair. Dana Milamaki remains in hers. Kelly now to start his 10th frame. He's a long way behind, even if he uh, strikes out. A 2 three, six maximum for him and if Milamaki were to strike out a 278 for her that would be a great winning score it would be a great game and of course Tony all he's done is missed lane 12 twice otherwise he'd be there oh yes and a bit of luck falls his way this time what do you reckon there Tom well I tell you what Dave, if you're looking at lane 11 with the strikes that have been on it it would have won the car Real, yes, you're right. If he'd bowled on one lane all the time, he'd have gone really well. But this is a game. These are the intric intricacies of the game. 
it's not as easy as it looks. Everyone thinks it's just 60 feet of wood, and it really isn't. No, that's a lot of skill goes into all this, but uh, I don't think there's been a strike missed on lane 11 in this match at all. Here's the concentration of his opponent at the moment. As Kelly lines up lane 11 again, the lane he's favoured all afternoon. There it is again. Oh, this is great bowling. If he gets one more, a 2 3 6. Now, that's not a bad score to lose with. Look, this has just been such a great match. This is what bowling's all about. He has missed twice on lane 12. He's thrown two lo loose shots. Otherwise, he'd be well and truly in the lead. And he, at this stage, he couldn't lose. He would have shot a 290 game, a Danakan on issue, possibly 278. This is just, like even to lose with a 236, this is the, the way to bow out. You can't be disgraced. You love it. It's what the game's all about. Losing on a high game. Even you, Tom, you never worry about it? No, he's not a loser here at all. Uh, you know, he's making the game look easy on lane 11 and 12, but uh, particularly on 11, and that's where skill comes in, when you can make the game look so easy. Oh, well Brilliant. punched out. Great stuff. A good finish, and the crowd really love it here. A good performance here from this youngster. His first appearance in the coat, and he has bowled very, very well. He has just done fantastic. Just 236. That's just such a great game. Like, look at that. That is the last shot of the of the match. He knows he's lost the match, but he is still pumped up. He's, I think, really, I think Ten Bin Bowling's the winner out of this match, most, out of both of them. Most definitely. This has been an absolutely fabulous match, and uh, you know, hats off to both of them for their skill. And uh, and you'd have to call uh, Tony a, a pro after this, wouldn't you? You really would. Dana's still practicing, still getting in there. Every shot counts. <laughs> strike great performance here from dana miller mackey looks up at the scoreboard and has a look what's on the card well you know another great shot here she actually tried a little bit of a different line there she knows she's win the match so she says i'll try something different we'll see here on the pin cam the ball just touching the five pin the pin swishing across she gets the strike but she's out there practicing something else now this is the difference professionals they go out there they can make changes at, at will and they just do everything they want to do so the run of strikes comes to an end well this is what i mean chris she went out there she tried a different line on lane 12 she knows 12 is a bit, bit 12 is a bit tougher than 11. so she's moved in she's gone further in tried, maybe through a different role tried to throw it out to see if it had come back it doesn't she says oh i'll remember that for the next time i'm here of course very important as we come into the step letter final last delivery for miller mackey in round two takes the pin out Finishes with a 267. She wins, moves into the step ladder playoffs in the 1989 Golfing Coca Cola Classic. For the loser, Tony Kelly, unfortunately, he bows out in his first stint at the coat and he picks up $300.